Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about limit. So now I will show you how to answer. So for the first one, we need to do about factorization on numerator and denominator. For this one, you will go about s minus 3, s plus 6. For this one in here, we got about s minus 3, s to the power of 3, plus s square, plus 3s, plus 9. So, after we do about factorization, we simplify this one. So, we put number 3 in here, and we got the final answer. And you got about number 6. Now, let's go to the second one about this one we have a minus b so we will apply the formula a minus b multiply with a plus b equals to number zero so we can use this formula to Multiply with the square root of 1 plus s square plus 1 on numerator and denominator. So this one, you got about a square minus b square. And you got about 1 plus s square minus 1. 1 minus 1, we simplify. We simplify S. So we say that if we put number 0 in here, you will go about 2. Square root number 1 plus 1, you go about number 2. Meanwhile, this is about 0 in here. 2 divide 0 from the positive side, so you will go about positive infinity. And this is the answer. Question number 3. So in this situation,
we multiply with number 5 in here. And we have another number 5 in here. So we have the formula. And we have sci phi s over phi s, and that's it equal to number one. So this is the formula in here. So that means you got about phi over seven, and this is the answer for the question because phi over seven in here, but this one equal to number one in here. Now, let's go to the next one. We have the formula. You will go about e to the power of a over b. So in this situation, a is about 7. b is about 9. So we change this one into 7 over 9. The next one, we can put this one into the square root of number 5 minus the square root of s. And we have square root of number 5 plus the square root of s. Number 5 in here just add up about square root of number 5 to the power of 2 minus the square root of s to the power of 2. This is about a square minus b square equal to a minus b a plus b. So because this is square root of s minus square root of 5, so we can change this one into this one. Negative of the square root of 5 minus the square root of s. Now we simplify this one. And we got our negative number 1 over the square root of 5 plus the square root of s. Later that we put number 5 in here. And this is the answer. Now, the next one, this is about positive minus positive, so we need to do common denominator. So you got about S square minus 1 multiplied with s minus 2 minus s square plus 1 multiplied with s plus 2 
so we need to expand this one We multiply this one too. So we simplify s to the power of 3 minus s to the power of 3 negative s square negative 2 s square you got about negative 3 s square negative s minus with s negative 2 s 1 minus number 2 you got about negative number 1 later that we divide both sides with s square Uh, this one negative number one negative two that's about positive number two sorry about that so we have two minus two that we can solve and this one should be about negative number two so negative with negative you got about four So we, di we divide with S square in here. When S go to positive infinity, this one go to zero. This one go to zero. Negative four divided by one, you call about negative number four. And the last one, s to the power of 5 is about the highest s to the power of 4 is about the highest on numerator and denominator because this one is about highest so when we divide s to the power of 5 you will got about 1 over s minus 1 over s square 2 over s to the power of 5 over 1 plus a over s square minus 1 over s to the power of 5 so when s go to positive infinity this one go to 0 0 0 0 and 0 so we have 0 over number 1 and you got about 0 this is the end thank you for watching